Wouldn't it be cool if your bike's taillight could sense your braking? And if it were so bright, you couldn't be missed? And if it looked like an iWatch? Hmm. Reviewed today on the Subjective Cyclist, Magic Shine's See Me 60 taillight. Well, at least it isn't called an eye something. The CME 60 light from Magic Shine may be a blatant ripoff of an iWatch housing, but it actually looks quite clean and houses its components in a manner appropriate for a bike light. This flasher can be mounted to a seat post or clipped to a garment of your choice by way of its two included twist lock mounts. Both of these work quite well and are similar in concept to a Garmin mount. Another ripoff, of course. I see where things are going here. The light isn't heavy, but has a solid feel and an appealing package. Its single mode selector button is appropriately sized and functions well. To press once to turn on the CME 60, a single press to change intensities, and a double press to cycle through the different flashing and constant modes. Here's how the light looks at night. There are three outputs for each of the three settings, those being a single constant and two flashes at low, medium, and high each. At a claimed 60 lumens, the output is indeed bright, and the Cobb LED configuration makes this an ideal setup for group rides and other uses where the more intense SMD LEDs are less friendly to those viewing your light. That makes this a great nighttime light and adequate for some daytime use. This light is mostly intuitive to use, has a nice appearance, and is pretty simple in features, right? Well, no. Here's where things get a little complicated. Both an accelerometer and vibration sensor are packed into this light, giving it two distinct features. First, the light can detect a reduction of speed, aka braking, as well as identify heavy vibration. In both cases, the light then frantically flashes to increase motorist awareness. Does this work? Uh, no, not, not at all. The sensitivity of both a speed change or vibration within your bike ensures that this light is almost constantly in frantic flashing mode. During testing, I could see its reflection off of road signs ahead of me, and even over smooth roads at, and at constant speeds, the light would wig out and flash like it was going out of style. Furthermore, a smart, or really not so smart, sleep function seeks to save power by shutting itself off after short periods without use. Perfect. We have a light that flashes when it wants, it turns on and off when it wants, and you can't disable either programming. For cyclists that ride over very smooth surfaces, or really aren't concerned with the decisions their light is making for them, this light might be an option. Please leave your comments below with your experiences from Magic Shine products. I always appreciate a thumbs up if you found this video helpful for your bike light research, and keep in mind that's for the video, not whether or not you like the product. Please visit SubjectiveCyclist.com for a range of bike product reviews, including other lights from Magic Shine and others. You'll find a purchase link below if you're interested in this product. And until next time, happy rides, and once again, thanks for watching.